Welcome to this video tutorial on how to request material from other libraries. For this process, you will need your library card number, which is located on the back of your Mountaineer ID card or on your Savage library card for community patrons. So today we're going to start off on uh, our homepage, library.western.edu. And we're going to go into our search options here, and we're going to use the Books and Media tab. Uh, today I'm going to look for the movie Cool Runnings. On the search results page, we're going to see a few different uh, separated areas. Um, the first one on the left-hand top side is going to be from the catalog, which is material we have either available right or at our library or online locally. Uh, on the other side, on the right side, we will see journals and articles as well as other libraries, Prospector. So uh, from here, you can see that we have three identical looking uh, results here. And they all say Cool Runnings video recording. They're all DVDs slash videos. But when we click uh, onto our full results page, we're going to see uh, some differences there. So when you click on either see all X number of results next to Prospector or full results from other libraries Prospector, we'll have a fully different results page to look at. Uh, on this page, you'll notice that uh, there, there are small differences between each one of these videos. So in this case, it looks like the dates are different. In some cases, the format might be different as well. Um, and mind the language that you're selecting. Uh, so on the first result, it says one library has this title. On the second result, it'll have 11 libraries have this title. So the record that you are actually requesting from makes a big difference as to what libraries receive that request. So make sure that you're choosing wisely. When we click on the second one that has 11 libraries having this title, if we scroll down past more details, which tells us whether it's a DVD, whether it's widescreen, all of that, down to locations here, we can see every single location that has a copy of this and its status. So some of them are available, but others are marked for local use only, which means they won't send it through the mail. Uh, some of them have a due date back, which means they're currently checked out and haven't been checked back in. And others still are missing or uh, are in process. So, as you can see, even though there were 11 libraries that have this um, title, only five are actually available to be sent. However, that is more than enough for our purposes today, and uh, when you're ready and you're happy with this, you can scroll back up to the top of the page, up to the Request It button. When you click this button, you'll have a drop-down list full of libraries to choose from. We are with the Alliance, so we're going to go down to Alliance-Western Colorado University. And it's actually more toward the middle of the search results because there are non-Alliance ones messing up our nice uh, alphabetical order here. So we're going to choose Alliance Western Colorado, submit that information, and then it will ask for your full name uh, as it appears on your card, as well as all 13 digits of your card number on the back. So this number is always going to begin with 417 and a few zeros. And uh, if you don't have your card handy, we may be able to look it up in our system. But you may have also received a defective card uh, in which you'll need to contact card services in the University Center. So once you submit all of this information, your uh, request will enter the system. And once it's fulfilled and your material arrives, you will get an email confirming that it's ready for pickup. I hope that this was helpful, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.